Hey, welcome back to my studio. If you're new here, my name is Morgan and I make all things party and event. And today I wanna to show you how to put together this hot air balloon themed diaper cake. These make a beautiful gift to give to your mother-to-be, but they can also be used as decorations for a baby shower. So follow along and I'll show you step-by-step -step how to do it. To make the base of the hot air balloon, I'm using 20 size one diapers and I've opted to use some up and up brand diapers mainly because they're primarily white with the only coloring being on the waistband, but you can use any size or type of diaper you'd like. Now you'll also need some of these mini rubber bands, which you can find either in the craft section or in the hair care department. And I'll be using those to wrap up my diapers. So starting at the waistband, I'm going to roll up the entire length of the diaper, starting with a really tight spiral across that waistband and just rolling it until I get to the end. Once I've got it completely rolled up, I'm gonna hold onto it with one hand and then grab one of those mini rubber bands and place it right over the center of that diaper. And then I just repeated this for the rest of my diapers. Next, we need a structure to put our diapers around, and I'm using a simple cardboard box, but you could use any kind of basket or gift box you find at a dollar store. Mine is six inches across the bottom and four inches tall. Now, the height of this box is really important because we want the box to be shorter than the width of our diapers. That way, the box doesn't stick out in between the diapers and it's easier to hide. Now you could use any size or shape of basket you like. The important thing is to keep it in proportion with the paper lantern we'll be using later. Now we need to add some structure to the box that will help support that paper lantern. And I'm using four 12 inch long balloon sticks and I've gone ahead and marked two inches in from one end. And I'll be using that as a guide to align it with the edge of the box. I adhered the balloon stick in place using a little bit of hot glue right in the corner and then I'm going to place the stick right into the glue making sure that mark is aligned with the edge and this will make sure all my sticks are the same height. Next I'll be adding the diapers to the box and I'm going to do this using a regular rubber band. I'm just going to stretch this over the length of the box making sure it's about halfway up the side. And I'm using a rubber band because we don't want to use any glue or glue dots that might damage the diapers and make them unusable. So using rubber bands is a great way to hold everything in place without potentially causing damage. Once the rubber band is on the box, I'm going to pull it away from the box a little bit and slip the diaper in. Now, the edge of the diaper has a spot where it's flatter and that's where the spiral of the diaper ends. And I wanna make sure that that side is always against the box. That way, when you're looking at the outside of this design, you'll always just see that nice, rounded, clean edge and not potentially the end of that spiral. So for my six inch size box, I can get four diapers on each side and then I have to add one more diaper to each corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all those diapers around, making sure that the rubber band that's on the diaper is also aligned with the rubber band that's around the box. This will make it really easy to hide all of these mechanics in just a moment. On the inside of the box, I want to fill it up with something that's going to be helpful for the mother-to-be and camouflage the box. So I'm using 14 unrolled diapers and those slip in just nicely into the inside of the box. And this will also hide the cardboard from view. Now you could fill this with all kinds of different baby items, stuffed toys, anything else you'd like to gift your mother-to-be. We just want to make sure we're completely filling that space. And if you don't fully fill that inside, you may want to consider putting a little tissue paper down in there so that you don't accidentally see the box poking through. Like I mentioned earlier, we want to disguise all of these rubber bands holding the diapers in place. And the best way to do that is adding a little bit of ribbon. Now I'm using this aqua ribbon that's about two inches wide and that's plenty wide enough to hide all of my rubber bands, but you could always go with thinner or wider ribbon just pick something that coordinates with your color scheme. Now to attach this ribbon, I'm going to be hot gluing the ends of the ribbon together and it's only going to be held on with tension because I'm not going to glue this directly to the diapers. So the first thing I wanna do is add a little bit of glue to the end of the ribbon and fold it over so I have a nice clean edge on the outside of my ribbon. Now if you were gonna make a bow to cover this, you could skip this step. So once I've got that done, I'm gonna wrap my ribbon snugly around all of the diapers and then I wanna hold that in place with one hand and with my other hand apply a little bit of glue to the folded edge we made just a minute ago. Once I've got the glue in place, I wanna pull that ribbon nice and taut and align the edges so it looks like one continuous ribbon all the way around. Now I like this clean look, but you could always add a bow over the top of this to camouflage this scene. 
Moving up from the basket, I want to decorate these balloon sticks a little bit, and an easy way to do that is using paper straws. This will give it the look of a colored spiral going all the way up the stick, and it'll add some key structure for when we go to add our lantern in in just a moment. So these straws just fit over the top of the balloon sticks. If you're worried about being too tight of a fit, you could always use a boba straw, but the important thing when you're putting these straws on is that the straw is sitting on the edge of the box, and that'll mean that these straws are all an equal height up the length of these sticks. Now I'm going to add my lantern on top. So I'm using a 16 inch lantern and you'll notice that there's a small opening and a larger opening on your lantern and you want to make sure the larger opening is facing down towards your basket. Then insert all four of your balloon sticks into that larger opening so that the paper lantern is sitting right on the edge of those straws. Because those straws are an equal measurement up from the box, it means our paper lantern is going to sit nice and level. And to keep that lantern in place, I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right at the very top of that straw and pull the lantern down into the glue, holding it in place until the glue has completely cooled. With the structure of the hot air balloon complete, we can move on to embellishing it. And I'm using lots of different colors of paper to make a mini string of pennants. And to make that process super easy, I'm using this inch and a half triangle punch to cut out all of my mini pennants. In total, I needed 28 of these little triangles to make up my string. I've laid them out in the order I would like the patterns to be, making sure I've split apart any patterns that are bolder, like the stars and the safety pins. Now I'd like my pennants to swag four times around my hot air balloon, so I've cut a 60 inch long piece of this tiny ribbon, and I'm going to be doing this in four sections. So that would be 15 inches long, and I'm going to center my pennants right on that seven and a half inch mark, which would be the midpoint of that 15 inches. Now I'm gonna bring up one pennant and flip it upside down so that the white side or the uncolored side is facing up. Then I'm gonna space my triangles a quarter inch apart from each other, moving out from the center. Now you do not have to be this precise when making your own pennant string, but if you would like to, I've already done the math for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my triangles spaced out a quarter inch apart, and then I'm gonna move my string over the top of all of my triangles, so they're about an eighth inch down from the top. Once I've got that down, I'm gonna tape that ribbon in place so it doesn't shimmy on me, and then go down the line and put two tiny dots of hot glue on the back of each pennant. This will hold them to the string, and a benefit of using hot glue means it's gonna be liquid for a moment, so if something moves on you while you apply that glue, you can move it back into place before it dries. Once the glue set, I then untaped the ribbon from the table, moved the ribbon down, and repeated this until I had all four sections of my pennants done. Now we can attach the pennants to the hot air balloon. Starting at the straws, if you follow the straw all the way up the edge of the paper lantern, you'll notice that I've aligned the paper seams of that lantern with the straws, and I'm gonna use that seam as a starting point for hanging my pennants. So right on that seam, on one of the horizontal ribs, I'm going to put a small dot of hot glue and then press the ribbon into it and hold it steady until that glue sets. Rotating the hot air balloon around, I'm going to pick the next spot to attach my pennants. So I'm going to follow that horizontal rib around until I get to the paper seam that's above one of my straws again. I'm just going to put a tiny dot of glue right on that rib and then stick the ribbon into it and hold it in place until it dries. You'll notice that between each swag of pennants, there's a bigger gap between those two and that allows them room to hang down and not touch each other. Once you get back to the starting point, you'll notice that the rib you're currently on is one above where you started, and that's because these ribs are a spiral all the way up and not individual circles. So for my last attachment point, I'm actually going to put it right between the two ribs and kind of even out that distance. And don't worry, we're going to hide all of these glue points with some bows. Now you could just make a simple bow, but I want to show you how to make these really cool ruffly rosettes. These are made from this cool ruffly ribbon, which you can buy by the spool at your local craft store. Now I'm gonna be using four inch sections of that and I'll be attaching it to these one inch circles of paper that I just use with this hole punch, but they could be squares or just scraps of paper, doesn't matter. We just need something to glue our ribbon down to. Now I'm gonna take my ruffly ribbon and fold it in half along the center seam and then starting at one end, roll it up so it creates a spiral. You want this to be pretty tight and to keep that bottom edge aligned with its Itself. Once you get to the end of the ribbon, if you look at the back side, you should see that nice tight spiral. 
Using a nice dot of hot glue on top of our one inch circle, I'm going to put that spiral side of the rosette directly into the glue, making sure I catch that outermost edge of our ruffle so that it doesn't come undone. The paper is what's going to hold the spiral in place and give us a place to mount this to our hot air balloon. I put a small dot of hot glue on the back of the rosette and then placed it right over the top of where our pennants touch the hot air balloon to hide all those glue spots. I also made some extra rosettes to decorate the bottom portion of the basket. Now I'm not going to be gluing these in place as I don't want to glue them directly to the diapers, so I'm just going to set them around the base of the straws to accentuate them and bring that element from the upper part of the balloon down to the basket. inspired by today's project and give this a try. This makes a wonderful gift for your mother to be or as a baby shower decoration. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe below and don't forget to check out our Patreon group if you'd like to up your party game. So until the next time, you can check out some of my other videos over here and remember, stay creative everybody. Bye!